Hi everyone, Darren from iLAN, and I have here the latest wireless access point from Draytech, the 920R. It's a bit different than other Draytech wireless access points in that it's designed for the great outdoors. And it's not just a case of putting one of the old Draytech access points inside a new case either. This is a brand new product designed from the ground up to work in extreme outdoor environments. It can tolerate everything from the great Australian summer to wind, rain and even snow. Basically any weather from minus 40 degrees right up to 70 degrees Celsius. Let's take a peek. Okay, the first thing I notice is that there's a bit of weight to it and it feels quite solid. It weighs just over a kilo as it turns out and the case measures out to 255 millimeters by about 160 and about 80 millimeters deep. Up top we have a couple of antenna connectors which are N-type antennas and we have a couple of antennas in the box. The 920R is a dual band AC1200 device which supports up to 867 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band and 400 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band. The antennas here are a 3.5 dBi gain on 2.4 gigahertz and 6 dBi gain on 5 gigahertz. We also have Wave 2 with 2x2 Moo MIMO technology here. Moo MIMO stands for multi-user, multi-input, multi-output, which basically means it can communicate with multiple devices simultaneously, which speeds up the Wi-Fi performance. In the box we also have mounting brackets included, which allow it to be either wall-mounted or attached to a mast. Most hardware shops have a variety of masts to choose from to suit different situations. And we also have a ground cable and a patch cable and a product registration card and a quick start guide. On the back here we have screw holes for the mounting bracket to attach to and on the bottom we have three access ports. The first allows us to see the activity and Wi-Fi link lights which is a handy place for them when you consider you'll be looking up at this from below. The middle port is a gigabit ethernet input. The 920R is powered by a PoE only. It doesn't come with a power pack or even anywhere to plug one into so you'll need a PoE injector or a PoE switch. It only draws around 18 watts so type 1 PoE is all you'll need. We have a waterproof gland for the cable input. Getting it in is much the same process as fitting a hose connector really. To connect the input cable first unscrew the sealing nut and take out the seal and clamping claw. Remove the temporary stopper, we won't need that again, and we can separate our seal and plastic clamping claw. Remove the gland body, you might need a spanner to loosen it, just be gentle and make sure the spanner is a firm fit. Plastic nuts are really easy to round off. Technically you can probably click the cable into place without removing this bit, but getting it out again is another story. You can probably fiddle around with a screwdriver, but I think it'll be quicker and easier to just unscrew the gland body. Thread the sealing nut and body onto the cable. Connect the cable and then screw the body back onto the case. Kinch it up again with the spanner. Now put the seal onto the cable and then wrap the clamping claw around it. Push those inside the gland body and tighten the sealing nut into place. Also give it a bit of a tighten with the spanner. And job done. And the last port is a spare one on this model. The 920R has bigger brothers due out in a few months called the 920RP and the 920RPD which will have a PoE out port here which will allow for an IP camera to be attached to the same mast for example. Inside we have features we've come to expect from Draytech wireless access points like four SSIDs and access point, bridge, WDS and universal repeater modes. With this one we also have VLAN settings to each SSID access control and bandwidth limit policies. So for example, we can throttle the guest access back so it doesn't interfere with our staff bandwidth and so on. We also have something called airtime fairness and bandwidth steering for a better Wi-Fi user experience. 
It has built-in Radius server for 802.1x authentication and TRO69 support to work with the Vigor ACS2 system for remote monitoring and management. It also has built-in temperature and humidity sensors, which it can report via syslog or email if the weather conditions get dodgy, and some diagnostic tools like speed test, AP discovery, WLAN and station statistics, and an interference monitor. Management features include the usual HTTP, HTTPS GUI, as well as a CLI for Telnet, and SNMP for V2, V2C and V3, and of course the ability to export and import the config. It comes with a two-year back-to-base warranty and is available now from your favourite Draytech resellers. And that is the Draytech Vigor App 920R Outdoor Wireless Access Point.